So anything collected, when I mentioned that you had 17,000 collected from the, to the, from the 2012 special assessment, we don't count that because it's not money we use, it's money that goes into the special assessment account. Oh, the collections are strictly from special assessment? No, just that one particular collection number that I had mentioned. Well, the $17,000 you mentioned, is, is that partially special assessment? It's all, that is all special assessment from 2012. That is all special. Yes. So that just goes. So that go, that does not. I don't count that as income. That I can't because I'm not. I, I can't use it against expenses. That, that goes into the special. Assessment yes, and not used. That pays down the mortgage. Well, okay. You're talking about two. Okay, the cash special assessment from 2012 for the cash infusion, the one that you did in October. Yeah, that from people who said they weren't going to pay after uh, Alliance started calling, they, they paid. And that doesn't get included in your operating income. That no, it can't. To the special yes, I do not count that money. Oh, and what about the income from the uh, 14 units that you said? That you does count as income. That does count? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes, son, before you conclude, uh, you hired two no securities. I would like to have an explanation of that. I believe one of them carries a weapon. So not now. We don't have any. We 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 had for the I believe it was the election, or one of the meetings we had a, a a situation with somebody. So we just had somebody there for four hours, but that was it. We don't have any armed guards here. Uh, I saw a guy in uniform uh, many times in the security gate. Oh, uniform. Yeah. No, in uniform, but they're not wearing carrying a gun. We have a man in there. So, Anyhow, why do we have uh, inside security, in-house security, and we have someone else in uniform? So I, I because somebody quit, and we were paying overtime, so I brought in a guy until we can find somebody at the at, at the same price that we're paying, so that we don't have to pay overtime. It's, it's, just, it, it's the same thing when you have when you when you let somebody go because they, for whatever reason, you let them go, or somebody quits, you have overtime because you need to cover the shift. So instead of paying overtime until we find somebody permanent, we bring in somebody at the same price that we're paying on a salary so that we don't have the overtime. Uh, but uh, my question is, is how can you contract, so I believe you would contract with the current company of this particular security guard. Now, Say again? I, I think you would have to contract with the power company of, the, of this particular security guard. Because yeah. you cannot contract a security security guard in uniform, because he carries uniform of, of a company. So uh, I, I, I need to interrupt. Uh, would, if you have a question about a specific security thing. Well, I, don't, I don't get it. We cannot talk of anything. What's your, what, what would he, he's, th this is not on the agenda, and, and we have a, we have, Frank, we have a very, Frank, we have a very long mind. list. I don't mind. Okay, we, I have questions. Okay, yeah, yeah. look at me. And it's not on the agenda. Me to ask questions because I'm a, I'm a homeowner. I pay my money, okay. I want to know how my money is being managed. That's, that's fine. fine. <laughs> I have an idea. Why don't you come in Wednesday and talk to them? And I don't. This is why we have meetings. I, 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 no, a board meeting. Frank, 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 Frank I, I, I understand. I understand your question. The purpose. I don't mind. You don't set the agenda. Okay. You but I have questions. Agenda. Kurt, 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 please, thank you. Okay. Frank, the per a board meeting, when they ask questions of good and welfare, that's because they decide to do that. But a board meeting is for the so board. So come here just to listen to you. No, they, all, they always take their good and welfare, and that's the purpose of a board meeting. Okay. When I, I asked a question earlier, he said he, 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 he's not answering my question because he worked on work. Okay, this no, is what you said. So when it's formal, when it's formal, you said you're not answering the question because it's not, the, it's not in the agenda. So what is wrong with you? Uh, what's the, what's, I, probably I'm the wrong, I'm, I'm in the wrong setting. I don't get it. I also have a lot of questions that I'll do it later. Okay, I don't then, know. We, we have to follow the agenda or we'll be here until 3 o'clock in the morning. That is not the purpose of a board meeting. The only reason why he didn't answer your... Wait, hold on one second, please. The only reason why he didn't answer your question is because it was as a personal and legal matter that you brought up. Hold on. Because you accused him of being prejudiced, and that's a personal issue. 
saying I'm lying. So no. no. I'm lying. I'm Frank. 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 You are out Frank. of order. You either either stop talking, or I'm going to be ask you to leave, or you're going to be escorted out. You're out of order, and you either be quiet, or you're going to be or asking you to leave. You cannot ask me to leave. You can. Yes. You are out of order. You're out of order. Nobody can rest here. Okay. Nobody can rest here. Are you finished? I don't know where I was, to be honest with you. Um. Yeah. You. you, you I was finished. Thank you. Okay. Next item. <laughs> Next item is the Sales and Leasing Committee report. The committee met three times since the last meeting of the board. We met on February 27th and approved rollover leases for the following units. St. Moritz, 1J, two bedrooms, $1,100 a month. Heidelberg, 1N, one bedroom, 875. Edelweiss, 3Q, one bedroom, 815. Interlaken, 1U, one bedroom, 700. Approved annual leases for the following units. Interlaken, 3R, efficiency, 1,000 a month. Orleans, 2M, efficiency, 650. Bordeaux, 2R, efficiency, 850. Bordeaux 3G, one bedroom, $800. Heidelberg 2G, one bedroom, $800. Bordeaux 1R, an efficiency unit, $650. Orleans 3T, two bedroom unit for $1,100. Edelweiss 3I, a one bedroom unit for $875. And approved the following sales. Heidelberg 3G, one bedroom unit for 28,000, no estoppel. Marseille 2S, one bedroom, 40,000, no estoppel. Marseille 1K, one bedroom unit for 52,000. Special assessment recovery will be $5,018.64. Bordeaux 1G, two bedroom unit, 48,000, no estoppel. St. Moritz 2A, one bedroom unit, 42,000, no estoppel. Uh, I missed, uh, I, I have an, an error here on my report. The Bordeaux 1G is a one bedroom unit and not a two bedroom unit for 48,000. On March 13th, the committee met again and approved the following rollover leases. Interlock and 1L, two bedrooms, 1,050. Orleans 1C, one bedroom, 775. Grenoble 1L, two bedroom, 975. Marseille 3S, one bedroom unit, $700. Nottingham 2R, an efficiency for $700. Marseille 3H, two bedroom unit for 1,100. Orleans 2O, one bedroom unit, 750. Marseille 3L, two bedroom unit, 1,000. Heidelberg 1I, one bedroom, 900. Grenoble 3Q, one bedroom unit, 775. We approved annual leases for the following units. Interlock and 1C, a one bedroom unit for 800 a month. Marseille 2D, one bedroom unit for 750. Yorkshire 2R, an efficiency for 750. Marseille 2R, an efficiency, 850. Zurich 3F, one bedroom unit, $800. We approved the following sales. St. Moritz 1F, one bedroom unit for 48,000, no estoppel. Bordeaux 3C, a one bedroom unit for 38,000, and no estoppel. Zurich 3C, a one bedroom unit for 37,500, Special assessment recovered was 5147.74. St. Moritz 1V, a two bedroom unit for $90,000, no estoppel. Yorkshire 1F, a one bedroom unit for 42,000, no estoppel. We disapproved an application for sale of Grenoble 1V, a two bedroom unit. We approved a permanent occupancy application for Heidelberg 1S. The committee met again on March 18th. 
and took the following actions. We approved rollover leases for Z2Y, one bedroom, $750. E2N, one bedroom unit for $825. Approved annual leases for N2J, a two bedroom unit for $1,000. B3U, one bedroom for $800. S1A, one bedroom unit for $900. I3W, a two bedroom unit for $1,450. Approved the sale of Orleans 1Q, a one-bedroom unit, for $42,000. No estoppel letter. The committee would appreciate a motion to accept the reports of the committee as presented and ratify all actions of the committee. I have a question for you, Francis. Yes, sir. On uh, the uh, meeting March 13th, you said Zurich 3C was sold, the one bedroom for 37.5, special assessment recovered, 51.47. Does that mean it was sold for 37.5 plus 51.47, or does that mean the 51.47? The 51.47 was paid out of the out of the proceeds to the seller. Out of the 37.5. Correct. 51.47. So, okay, that's, so it was really sold for 37.5 less than 51.47. Not really. It was sold for 37.5 and 5,000 of it was special assessment. All right, it's, it's, uh, in, the, it's in the 37.5. Thank you. That special assessment take down the mortgage, the loan we have? Yeah. That's the Volcovia assessment. Is there a motion to approve the reports? I'll make the motion to approve the sales and lease reports as presented. And ratify the actions of the committee. And ratify the actions of the committee. Do you have a second? I'd love to. <laughs> Jerry seconds. Are there any objections? Unanimous. Next is the item called projects. Um, this agenda item is for discussion of the minutes of the first committee meeting, which are included in your package. Um, however, um, we talked about a letter from Criterion that was received earlier, and I wanted to read it into the record so there's more complete understanding of, of what's going on. Yes. Yes. It's behind the other minutes. It's the last page of the, the board minutes. Okay. Uh, this was a letter sent to uh, Mr. Levy uh, from Douglas Mercado, president of Criterion. Uh, Mr. Levy, we understand that there is some confusion as to the date in determining the requirement for the 40 year, 40th year recertification. The date listed in our reports, 1980, is from the Broward County Property Appraisers Office public records. During our initial inspection, according to management and other, inform, inf and other information provided by unit owners, the building structures were built prior to this conversion sometime in 1971 or 1972 which would be the year listed for the Certificate of Occupancy, CO. The building department, he's referring to the City of Lauderdale Building Department, will use the CO in determining when the buildings will need to have inspections performed in order to comply with 40th year requirements. This date must be provided by the city. Since this date was quite some time ago, a records search Will, will need to be requested and paid for through the city in order to determine the actual CO date. According to the Broward County website, this request can be performed as follows, quote, records prior to 1978 are not yet computerized and can be accessed in only two ways, by coming to our office or by written request. Please let us know if you would like to send if you would like to send a building representative to do the record search, if you would like to send a written request, 
or if you would prefer, we can send one of our assistants to do the records search. If we do send one of our assistants, we will need to charge a fee for the service. We previously sent a records search proposal due to, to no plans being available at the site. Please let us know how you wish to proceed. We would just advise that they will perform the service at no charge, correct? Okay, so just to clarify, uh, the date in the engineering report was the only date uh, available from public records. Um, and as, as he states here, the date that uh, building departments use to establish a 40th year requirement is based on construction or certificate of occupancy. Um, so, open for discussions. Yes? Why do we need that date? Why do we need that date? We meaning the association? Yeah, why do we need that date? That's something that the city or the county, the county has to make itself aware, and when they decide that, that whatever that date that they pick, if they want to issue a uh, a, a, a notification that we need a, an engineering study, then they're going to do that. Why are, why are we doing this? We don't, we don't, you don't have to. It was requested by, by the community that we, well, well, if all you, well, wait, I'm not, I have no uh, gain in this. I'm just trying to facilitate your property to be, uh, safely sound and and if you choose not to do what you want to do then that's what you choose and that's what the board chooses my the what i'm going to answer your question what was your question <laughs> okay okay if 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 okay no problem you can choose to take that. No one's saying you don't have to choose. The only reason why the question was asked, I asked the question to Criterium, is simply because after the, after the project's uh, committee meeting, the very first one, and you have the DVD, you can watch it, everybody was asking, well, what's the date? Why can't we have the date? And then as we were leaving, everybody was following me out saying, well, why don't you find out the date? Why don't you find out the date? Now, I didn't go to the city. Criterium isn't going to the city unless we ask them. I asked the question so I can bring you the answer that you asked me last week. That's the only reason why. I can't speak for anybody, but the only reason they're asking you the question is because they don't understand why this report has been Put under. Can I tell you yes or no? Which is yeah, go ahead. Go. We need a nice young yes. man. I'm an engineer. All right. I know no, it's use the use uh, the microphone. Uh oh, uh -oh we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Okay. I'm an engineer. I do this for a living. Um, the way it works is, you will need the four-year certification. Period. All right. If it is this month, next month, six months, you're gonna have to do it. And it's 90 days requirement to turn in that book after we get the letter. Let me explain you how this works. Whatever, whatever is written in this book, you're going to have to hire a contractor to get it done. So if we are proactive and get this book early enough so that the maintenance crew can knock down as many projects as possible, so whatever the company that did the book can re-inspect it for free, and make it half that size, you don't have to turn in to a contractor who will charge you 20 times more than he will. So that's a good reason to be proactive. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, any other board discussion on this? Thank you and uh, appreciate the explanation from our resident uh, engineer which I would ask if you could volunteer your services to the committee, if that's amenable to uh, Marvin. Yes. 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 Um, but if that's the case, uh, I agree with Jerry. Why, why look into the date? The city will be the ones to tell us the date. And I agree with him. Why, you know, let, let sleeping dogs lie. 
Um, and I asked Jason to call, call the company and tell them, don't bother. Um, I'm willing to wait for the letter from the city. In the meantime, I think we should. I, I think we should do exactly what uh, Marcio suggests and have our maintenance crew put them on a schedule to do as much as possible that's in this report. And a lot of this stuff, I'm not an engineer, I'm not an expert, but I've sat down with, with uh, another uh, resident who knows a lot about this stuff. Um, uh, Richard, you're here, Richard Young, who's also on the committee. Um, and there's a lot of stuff in here, apparently, that the, the reason um, it's on here is because we haven't been conducting the maintenance on a consistent basis to the point where it gets to, to an issue that an engineer would cite. Uh, so, so it's two things. One, we need to address the issues that we can from a maintenance standpoint that are, that are immediately uh, a problem here. And two, we need to then create a maintenance schedule to, to make sure that those items remain in a state that they don't come up a year or two years from now or whenever we get that engineer to come back, uh, that then all of a sudden, again, again, it's a problem. Can we do that? Yeah, you're absolutely correct. And uh, of course, as you know, the report was done in um, last year. And since then, we have been doing that. A lot of the stuff on the report, and I, uh, this, I was working on this uh, this week, uh, last week and, and today, uh, to break out areas that are already being addressed and areas that can be addressed. Uh, for example, clogged drains on the, on the roof, that's already being addressed. Um, there are uh, certain repairs of, uh, of exit lighting, that is on a list for us to do, so we will be doing that. Um, there are certain uh, areas of uh, uh, chipping that we can do. Yes, we have that on, on a list to do. So to answer your question, absolutely 100%, we have already put together lists when, uh, when we started receiving information from the engineers, and George does have his people going around and taking care of certain issues that are on there, and we will continue to do that. So we will dwindle down the list, and this is why it goes through committees, it goes through everything, but we already have been starting to do that, yes. Can you see a schedule? Could you uh, give us a schedule, maybe at the next meeting, where yes. sure. you show us um, what, what stuff it, on, on, in this report we'll do on a, on a six-month basis, what, on a monthly basis, and, and that kind of thing? Absolutely, I can do that. I can do that in a board meeting, but more importantly, I wasn't going to wait that long. I, would, that, I was going to push that into the committee meetings as well, because as you look through the book and you're discussing things in the committee, you're going to need to have the information of what can be extracted and what is going to be done by us. So you're going to have that before next meeting. You're going to have it as these committee meetings progress. You're going to see the list. You're going to see what we're doing, how we're doing it, and what can be pulled out and what can't be pulled out. I also want to make a, a comment that we are, in the very, we are at the very beginning of this process. Um, and talk about the dates and, the, and the, getting the letter and all of that. In my own mind, that's almost like a bookkeeping issue. My, my overriding major concern is this property has some very, very important uh, structural issues that it must, we, this association must deal with. Our fiduciary responsibility mandates that we provide a safe environment for all our residents. So uh, the, the committee is going to, going to be dealing with primarily the structural issues that exist and eventually and they're going, to, they're going to have a lot of questions they're going to be they're going to need they're going to get a lot of data in order to make the the proper recommendations to the association and eventually the board will get this report and and then make the decisions of how to handle the things that have to be handled uh, and the, the 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 paperwork called the 40th certification and all that, that will be handled also. But the most important thing is, is that the committee is going to be given all the information necessary so it can make the, the, the informed uh, recommendations to the board so the board can make the proper decision. Any other discussion on the board? What committee? Is that only the 48th committee or other committee? 
Yes, the 20, is it, technically it's called the 2013 Projects Committee. So anytime you see a notice of committee, it'll, it'll say 2013 Projects. Because the projects the committee are dealing with are not just those suggested or contained in the 40th certification. There are many other things that the association must get done that are not part of the 40 year. So the, the committee is going to be dealing with a whole slew of issues. You had a question? I have a question for John, uh, specifically. Um, we just recently had, we, we just recently had uh, an assessment um, because we couldn't keep up with operating costs. So now shortly after that assessment, we're now having to, there's a proposal to spend millions of dollars on something that the state now we're finding out didn't mandate that we do. Whether they should or shouldn't is another story. The fact that we couldn't keep up with operating